What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Sky. If you're new around here, we unbox and review epic stuff. You didn't know you needed. Today, we're actually going to be remaking a video that I first initially did when I opened up the channel, which is the Geeky Multi-Tool. And I realized going back to it that I didn't even edit that video, Bruh. like many other videos. So let's hope to do a better job with this one. But yeah, right. We already know how that's going to turn out. So let's get into it. Alright, so let's start with the packaging. So it's just a simple cardboard with the functions of what this tool can do and in the back just images of what the tool can do. So before we get into the functions of this tool, let's compare it with a regular sized key. Right, so as you can see, it is a little bit bigger than a regular key and it is also quite thicker. So about three regular keys would make the thickness of this geeky, but it's not as big as you might expect. It's actually much smaller than your regular car key. All right, so now that we get the size out of the way, let's talk about the most requested feature that you guys wanted me to show, which is a smoking pipe. And how it works is you'll put here whatever it is that you're gonna smoke. And as you can see, there's a tiny hole in there. If you guys can see it now. This hole leads all the way here to the tip. And this is where you would smoke it out of. So you would put it here, you'd light it up, and then you could do the smoke in there. Now, I don't think they advertise this feature heavily during their campaign, but this is definitely a feature and no one will notice this when you have it with your other keys. They'll just think it's another cool key or just another multi-tool. No one will really notice that little hole in there or that it leads up to here. All right, so let's start with the other features. So let's start with the bike spoke here. This is to adjust your bike spoke. So you would just insert it and then just adjust. And it also can be used as a wire bender. So I have a little cable here just to show you. So as you can see, it works very nicely. And here you have your bottle opener. And that same bottle opener here can actually be used as an open wrench driver. So let's say you have a, a bit that you want to insert in here. You see that fits perfectly. Bruh. And that's it, you're good to go. You can also use the closed wrench area for smaller ones or larger options. Then let's jump back here to the wire stripper or also keychain hanger. So let's say you want to strip a wire. Let's give this a try. You're supposed to bend it like this. Let's give it another try. And there you go. As you can see, it worked flawlessly. And then we have the tip. So the tip also works as a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. It even works with those funny squared screws. You could also use this as a can opener or a box opener if you'd like to. And also here you have a tiny measurement, so it's an inch. And you also have a file here in case you need to file something down. And here you have your serrated edge, just in case you wanna cut something, maybe a rope or a zip tie. And lastly, don't forget that you have a bit driver aside from your open and closed wrench that you can just insert this for those hard to reach places. All right, everyone. So that was it for the Geeky Multi-Tool re-review, I guess we'll call that, because it's the second review. I hope this was better and I was able to answer some of your questions questions now as someone who uses this every day and I've had it for almost over a year now I can tell you that it's a very sturdy product it's not chipping away it's not breaking uh, it saved me countless times I just know that it's there in my pocket I don't know where I'm gonna need it but it really has saved me many times so take that for what it is I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to the channel feel free to hit that like and subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much it means a lot to me remember everyone be kind to one another